Our team coverage continues with Leslie Mays live in Bristol. It is awfully hot out there, Leslie. Uh, yes, it is, Kevin. The people who have been coming and going here in Bristol today to watch these little leaguers play baseball, I think they probably deserve an award of their own once this is all said and done because this heat, it's been downright oppressive and it has not let up one bit today. No hot. 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 Whether they're rooting for the little leaguers from Fairfield or the kids from Maine, one thing everyone at the Eastern Regional Tournament in Bristol can agree on, today's heat is not a game. It's hot. <laughs> We're going to be sweating. The feels like temperature just shy of 100 degrees during today's 1 o'clock game. Fans in the stands tried to find shade wherever possible. Others turned to frozen beverages, hoping the chill would keep them cool. Number five, Jude Gusson. Wherever you look, people were searching for relief from the heat. Then there were people like young Jackson Trumbly, who says he's actually enjoying this summer scorcher. You like how hot it is? Yes. Why? Because I like hotness, not coldness. Not at all. While he's having fun, doctors say young people like Jackson, as well as the elderly, are who could be most adversely impacted by the heat. Dr. Stephen Caminiti of Bristol Hospital says parents need to keep an extra eye on their kids on these soaring mercury days. You want to be drinking frequently, taking frequent breaks, and if you're thirsty, stop what you're doing, make sure you drink at least eight to 12 ounces of fluid. So keep the cool drinks handy and keep cool so you can stay in the game.